Right guys, welcome back to the channel and this is another Niche Treat Your Geek magazine review and unsurprisingly, yours truly is featured in it again. The rest of the team have done fantastic with this issue and once again it is in full colour. This is the second issue to be in full colour. Uh, if you don't follow Niche, go and check them out on Facebook. There's also a blog. I will post all the links in the description. However, if you're into anything geeky at all, this magazine is well worth a read. It's available on Amazon, you can download the PDF, or if you get in touch with Niche, you can actually order a hard copy like what I've got. And what I say, this issue is fantastic. We've got interviews with Andrew Lee Potts, who you might recognize from Primeval. Fantastic show. Uh, unfortunately, not on anymore. But let's have a quick look through. So, Got a couple of cosplay interviews in there. We've got Miss Hatred and Cyclone Jack, and they are both fantastic. Let's have a look then. So, <clears throat> got Richmond's review of uh, Star Fox Zero, and I'm a big fan of Star Fox. I absolutely loved Lilac Wars back on the N64, like what 20 year ago now. Uh, I think it came out. Uh, so, a fantastic review, or maybe not, uh, by Richard. Very, very honest. Um, but yeah. That is fantastic review on there, and it's nice to see Nintendo at least pushing some games out there with some of the big names. Uh, we've got a couple of games reviewed here by Mashashi. Let's have a look. Marvel Avengers Academy, and this actually looks great. I need to download this as well. Looks actually really, really good to upgrade your superheroes. Um, yeah. Nice three, four page review there, uh, and apparently quite addictive. So I don't know if I actually want to download that, knowing my uh, addictive personality. So we've got another game review there as well. And yet more, so Evolution Heroes of Utopia, which is a follow up to the original. And uh, yeah, what else have we got? Grand Kingdom, so there's loads of game reviews in this issue as well some e3 coverage as well as the vr headset we've got the new dragon ball z mentioned in there as well we've even got a list of some upcoming games deus ex mankind divided the one that was released uh, about five years ago on 360 and playstation 3 was fantastic so that is something upcoming and very exciting as well Full review of Dragon Ball Z, like I said. And more animations. Attack on Titan as well, if you watch that. There's a good uh, review of Junior High there. A review of Gotham, as well as Power Rangers. I grew up with Power Rangers, especially Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and you know, a lot of nostalgia here as well. Review of Gotham. Fantastic. If you haven't watched the show, I seriously recommend you go and check it out. I binge watched uh, series one and absolutely loved it. The guy that plays Jim Gordon, I don't remember his name, but he was absolutely phenomenal in that, as well as the guy that plays, um, what's his name, Cobblepot. A very honest review of Agent Carter as well, which I've still yet to watch, so I think I need to pick that up as well as Madagascar. And if you haven't seen the Madagascar films, they are some of the funniest films. Although they are initially aimed at kids, they are very, very funny indeed. And there's three, and there's a review there by Ashley for the three of them. Fantastic review, uh, interview, sorry, with Andrew Lee Potts there. <clears throat> and then of course yours truly, my trip to Warhammer World, the article of when we went down uh, to play, I met up with Nigel Bartlett. Um, played against these Harlequins there and some of the other lads came with me as well so I wrote an article up on the full trip and there's Mr Nigel Bartlett and myself and of course the angry Scotsman Ali and me and there's Phil Graham and Stu as well if you follow the channel you'll recognize all of those guys but yeah fantastic article I th personally I think I wrote um, considering I don't normally write uh, so yeah please go and check that out my tutorial on how to make creators. I'm trying to keep um, the tutorials and stuff that I put in niche 
quite generalised so they can be used across multiple war games. Uh, Bolt Action, Infinity, you know, anything else like that, Malifaux, you name it. Uh, we've got a review of <coughs> excuse me, Mysterium there, card game which looks quite interesting. Um, and I do miss playing card games, which is why I think I got back into Malifaux, but I used to play a Pokemon trading card game as a kid. So yeah, some quite interesting stuff there as well. Um, we've got Adventures of Business Cat there by Ashley as well. Fantastic stuff. I like this. If you've seen any of my videos on the channel, you'll know I do have a full sleeve tattoo uh, of Stars and Flowers. These are some geeky tattoos. We've got Mewtwo, we've got Deadpool, Groot, and some of the ones there. We've got Doctor Who's TARDIS and whatnot on that side. I like this edition as well as it is something that is quite popular. Uh, we've got Kitty Kai there with a load of accessories and things that are being made so please go and check them out on Facebook. There's the link. We've got some con reviews by Dante there. Let's have a look. So that is Cleethorpes. S-Con, uh, SFS at Scarborough, I actually went there myself and some of the costumes were absolutely fantastic in particular the Big Daddy one that was there as well from Bioshock and of course the little sisters there We've got Harrogate and Scunthorpe that Ashley went to as well Review of Manchester, uh, the Showmasters event and then of course we've got Miss Hatred Fantastic cosplayer, go and check out the Facebook page. And there's a few different characters that she's covered there, as well as some more questions relating to video games and what inspired her to cosplay. And then, of course, we're moving on to Cyclone Jack, some absolutely fantastic costumes by Jack. And lots and lots of questions in there as well. And this is a nice little addition. How has cosplay helped you? Uh, I know a lot of people do suffer from anxiety or mental health issues, for example. Um, and I don't think it really gets the attention that it should. And a lot of cosplayers find that dressing up in their favorite character or whatever really helps them and helps boost their confidence. So there's a lot of questions here uh, and sort of mini statements from members of the public which I think again is a very good addition to the magazine so well done to the team for putting that together we've got a few pages on that as well some random cosplay um, photos there, we did have a couple further back there as well so we've got a little sister, Kylo Ren uh, the Punisher, Zelda the Sigma Priest from Warhammer Bellatrix Lestrange from Harry Potter so yeah, lots and lots of stuff. And then we've got, as per usual, the little mini comic strip in the back here. So we've got Vampire Wars. And I do like the style of this. It's all in black and white, but the shading and the detail on it really helps set the mood. It was really good to read this. And I think the black and white really, really set the mood for the article. Of course, picture of Mario. If you buy the hard copy, get this guy coloured in, send a photo over to Niche. I'm sure we can get it put up on the Facebook page as well. And of course, a word search. So there's absolutely all sorts packed in to issue 12. Please go and check it out, show your support. A lot of the money that is um, generated from selling Niche is donated back to charity and it is entirely run by volunteers so please go and check them out and show your support thanks very much for watching guys and hopefully uh, you can pick up a copy of niche and uh, show your support so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time